He's a liar, an absolute liar. And I'm going to prove it in this video. We're talking about the person, the company, which backed BlackRock and their efforts for a Bitcoin ETF. And this is what we talk about all the time in the industry. It's not about what they say. It's about what they do. Always, always, always look at what actually takes place rather than the words that are said. And when it comes to this case, this absolutely blew my mind today. The Bitcoin ETF is backed by JP Morgan. And we're going to prove that in this video. So for this, it's must-see crypto news. Go ahead and smash the like button. I don't know if you guys caught this today. I talked about it a little bit uh, on Around the Blockchain. They invited me on there. Had an unbelievable time, by the way, over there. Uh, shout out to them for bringing me on. Had a blast today. But this is what we've got to talk about right now. Jamie Dimon continues to just blast Bitcoin despite, despite backing Bitcoin. And we're going to talk about that point here in just a minute. Jamie Dimon says, I call it the pet rock, the Bitcoin. These are use cases, AML, fraud, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, sex trafficking. Those are real use cases. My personal advice would be don't get involved. Now, if you just listen to what he said here, you would not want to be involved with Bitcoin if you're listening to Jamie Dimon. Or hell, even if you're uh, keeping your money with JP Morgan. But that's not the real story here. That's not what's really going on. See, you've got to dive deeper into this and understand that JP Morgan has interest in Bitcoin. By the way, it's the 10th largest asset in the world right now, Bitcoin is. Okay, it's right up there with some of the biggest stock evaluations in the world. And of course, gold up there as well. There's no doubt, there's no denying that Bitcoin is its new, it's, it's a new asset class. When you have the Black Rocks and Fidelities coming to the, come the fold and you have something like this that basically proves that JP Diamond, uh, Jamie Dimon and JP Morgan have a vested interest. BlackRock named JP Morgan as their lead authorized participant for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Allcoin Daily just tweeted this out this afternoon. I've been saying this for weeks, if not months. Every time I hear Jamie Dimon talk shit on Bitcoin, I bring up this point. What does this mean? It means JP Morgan will create and redeem shares of BlackRock's BTC exchange traded fund. They have a vested interest, a financial interest in Bitcoin doing well. JP Morgan is furthering the adoption of Bitcoin in every way they can make money. There's the headline right there. BlackRock names JP Morgan as authorized participant for the spot Bitcoin ETF despite Jamie Dimon wanting to ban crypto and saying crypto is the worst asset class he's ever seen. He calls it the pet rock. It's absolutely absurd what's happening right now. And I don't know why, to be honest with you. I don't know why Jamie Dimon is doing this. Maybe he's just this unaware. Maybe he really doesn't know. Maybe it's other people at JP Morgan running the show on the crypto side. And he's made all his money through traditional finance. And he has a vested interest in saying that because he knows he's in the back pockets of a bunch of other people who don't like crypto. I think that's what it is. I think he's a puppet. And he's not able to speak his true mind. Because what he's saying doesn't match what his company is doing. Doesn't make any sense at all. His company has a vested interest, a financial interest in Bitcoin, but he thinks it's the worst asset to be invested in. Who else thinks it's the worst asset to be invested in? I don't know. Other people who've made their careers off of the traditional finance system, people who want control, I think they're in the back pocket of J.P. Morgan and Jamie Dimon. That's what I think is happening here. And it's a shame, but this is why you can't listen to what they say. You have to understand what's really going on, and to understand that, you have to follow the money. And if you follow the money on this instance, JP Morgan loves Bitcoin. Otherwise, they would not be an authorized participant on the BlackRock ETF. Point blank, period. End of story. So hopefully you got some value out of this one. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.
Peace.